Hi guys, I am back, and today I will show you how to create some crazy chord progressions. You may ask, Robert, why would you do a tutorial like this? Well, just take a look. A chord progression is made by two or more notes. For example, this is just a basic note. And when you add two more notes it becomes a chord progression. Now that you know what is a chord progression I will show you how I make my chords. First you will need to think what kind of music do you want to make. For example if you want to create a progressive house track you can pick the major scale. But do you know what notes are in the major scale? I guess not, so let me show you how I do it. First you will need to add an empty track. Click on the stand menu and pick major. Then you will need to pick your key. For this tutorial I use the D note. Copy the notes by clicking shift and left click. And paste the scale on the D notes. And what we have here is the D major scale. I also created a MIDI pack with the minor and major scales. You will need to drag and drop the MIDI into FL Studio. Now that we have the scale we can make some music. Open a piano instrument, and start with the bass notes. If you want to create a boring chord progression, you can do this. Copy the bass notes and paste them with an octave higher. And then copy again and put the notes somewhere in the middle. But it will be too basic. So let me show you how I do it. Because we are using the D scale. Your root note it's gonna be D. And you can do something like this. Then I like to keep my other notes close together. The chords are almost done, but if you want, you can add again the root note. Now I will show you how to create a progressive house melody using those chords. First change the rhythm of the chords. Now I will duplicate the piano and I will create a top melody using the chords.
for the future bass chords I will do the same process, but this time I will pick another scale, let's choose E minor. And when I'm creating future bass chords I like to start with a nice preset. Hope you learned something new today, don't forget to like this video and comment down below if you have a suggestion for the next tutorial.